Well, tis the season for weddings, and while you may hear a lot about the mother of the bride, today it's all about the mother of the groom. Wendy Cracciola, she uh, joins us to share some tips on how the mother of the groom can sort of reach out to her future daughter-in-law and the family and get things started off on the right foot. And me having been married, still married, I know what it's okay. like to sort of get sort of some new family coming in to the well, picture. Absolutely. Once the uh, you know engagement has been announced, the mother of the groom has a tendency to feel like a little left out. And I've just come up with some wonderful ideas and some ways for her to feel more included by her, you know, basically offering the olive branch, so to right. speak, and getting that out in front. And yes. before you go there, tell me what you heard. Uh, was it Katie Couric oh, that yes. had said something that was pretty true? Years ago, I heard Katie Couric say that, you know, marriage is hard enough, so why can't the moms just make it that much easier? Well, and that's I why like you're that. here, because absolutely. we are going to help the mother of the groom make it easier. Yes. So where do you think a good place to start is? How can they acknowledge and sort of bridge that gap? Well, once the news is out and they are engaged, I think sending the bride a bouquet, maybe in something that she absolutely loves, if she loves the Gerber Daisy or if she loves a tulip, just, you know, acknowledge the engagement with a pretty bouquet so the bride knows that the mother of the groom is, is involved and uh, excited. Right, and you may actually have to talk to the son to absolutely. find out sort of her favorite flowers and the favorite colors mm -hmm. to really make it that more, much more special. Absolutely, a check-in with your son and just say, you know, what is she like? And have that special something to show up at her doorstep or at her work and see that, you know, the mother of the groom is excited for right. her. Right, yes. now you've been in the flower business or you were in the flower business for quite some time. And I'm sure you hear horror stories, unfortunately. When do you think is a good time for the mother of the groom to sort of put it out there and say, okay, how, how can I help? Should she wait to be asked? Well, I think in this day and age, you know, traditional weddings are kind of a thing of the past. So I think her uh, going ahead and contacting the bride and saying, you know, what can I do to make this a little bit easier? Can I participate? You know, a lot of times they even offer to help pay for it, depending on the situation of the it's bride's probably, family. With my experience, it's all in the tone. Absolutely. It's all in how you ask. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And it's just another step towards a loving, kind relationship between right. the mother of the groom and the bride. Uh, let's talk about this book right here because oh. this is a great gift idea. Is, is this something you put together for a friend? Well, it actually is. A friend of mine had a wedding for her daughter and she could not afford to do an album. So I snuck her pictures out of her house and two years later I showed up with a beautiful book. I, literally, she couldn't talk to Andy for an hour. I'm sure. She was she just was crying her, her so little touched. eyes out. So this would be a great gift for the mother of the groom to Absolutely. give to her, her daughter-in-law. Absolutely. Collect little, you know, memorabilia, pictures, photos, awards, and put something together like that. Okay. I think that would be lovely. Very special. Um, I want to head on over to the end because, you know, still trying to think of, of great gifts. This is amazing. Well, I thought, you know, how can we, you know, kind of memorialize the wedding in a beautiful way? A lot of brides try to hang the bouquet on the back of their door, you know, and set it on the, the counter while they disintegrate. So I thought, why don't I have a local artist actually paint the bridal bouquet? And that way they're, you know, that way the bride can actually hang it in her bathroom. Room or in her so kitchen. this picture down here was a picture that the photographer took Absolutely. at the wedding. Yes. And then you went ahead and had a, a, a beautiful painting made. Yes, I had the artist. You know, I just wanted to capture the beauty and the elegance of the day. And the bridal bouquet is the main, you know, it surrounds the bridal bouquet and the bride the right. whole day. So I thought, what a, way, a neat way to acknowledge that in a gift. What a great keepsake. And yes. I could see it being even bigger. Absolutely. You know, like this great, big, huge, Absolutely. huge picture. Um, I wanted to ask you, you said sort of things are changing, yes. but the mother of the groom, what, do, I have three boys, right. so I am going to be the mother of three grooms. What do I need to pay for? I just want to get ready well, for Well, traditionally, the rehearsal dinner, okay. which can be a big deal or not, depending on the, the taste of the bride and the groom or the budget, um, and always the wedding party flowers. Okay. And that is almost it. Wow. Yeah, so the bridal bouquet, the bridesmaids bouquets, boutonnieres and corsages, but then the bride's family can't. When I you know, plan to have three yes. boys, I had the jackpot. Yeah, Is you Stephanie did. in here? Does she you really? definitely yeah. did. Do you, you have the two boys, so do you, did you hear that's all we have to pay for? Well, yes, but you know what I also heard? That was that fantastic tip was that we get to send flowers to the, yes. to the bride. Right. Do you think that will open the door so that we can plan the wedding? I, oh, th I think it's going gonna... to go overboard. <laughs> a, a foot and a half back in there so you might be, you know, invited maybe for the, even the bridal gown. You might actually be invited to the wedding. The, oh, well, I would hope so. I exactly. can't wait to hear stories I'll step of, I'll of, step you, of Stephanie with the, all of her wonderful stories with her and her daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some great tips and, you know, we are going to have um, more of this information on our website. Uh, we want to thank Wendy Cracciola. She is with Live Like a Designer, and uh, her phone number is right there, 602-672-2806. And again, for more information, you could go to sonoranliving.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andy.